What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Derail Valley, and in the last video, you guys had a lot of things to say, mainly that I should be reading the instruction manuals, and I didn't, but a lot of you did point out a lot of good things, for example, the signs with the numbers on the tracks mean the speed limit times 10, so I was actually going really, really slow, when it says 8, you can go 80 kilometers an hour, when it says 6, you can go 60, and I was barely doing 40 a lot of the time. So we're going to jump in. We're back at the harbor, I guess, is where we last left off. And we're going to do another mission. Now, a lot of people were saying too as well. Oh, lost and found. Is that mean? What is this? Are you serious? Wow, my, my, okay. Because I didn't store this stuff, I guess. It just sits in the lost and found because I dropped it. Cool. Anyway, we're going to do another mission. A lot of people were saying I should look through the missions, hook up the cars beforehand. That way you get the bonus. I figure we're not going to do that because I want to see if we can get the bonus just by driving the actual speed limits. We were definitely going way too slow before. So I feel like we can pick a mission, hook everything up. We're just going to take that engine that's right out there because it's sitting conveniently on the track. We currently only have um, one license. What do we have? Train driver and freight haul. So FH and TD, I guess. So we just need to find something that fits that what is this this is freight hall four thousand bucks deliver empty containers from harbor to goods factory in town where's goods factory in town no i i keep there we go um let's see goods factory wait does that mean food factory in town no goods factory in town we have to go back the way we came through the steel mill that seems like it's not worth Oops, I need this. Yeah, no, I need that. It's such a far distance. Three containers. Ah, oh, whatever. They're empties. That's why it's cheap. All right, let's uh, throw this in. Thank you. Give me my job book. Uh, I don't know where it's going to go. Um, sure, let's put it in here. Yeah, I don't need a DIY guide. All right, freight hall job. Yes. Harbor and town. They are on what track here? Uh, D30. We need them on D30. Okay, and we're taking them to goods at D51. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, Khan, why don't you spend this time reading the manuals? I figure that's the, you know, the kind of the point of the comments. It's really great that people can just tell me how to play games and I don't have to do all the reading part myself. Um, although I, I'll probably read some manuals during this trip uh, because we'll have time to do that. Let's hear, flick these breakers, turn you on, release the brakes. Oh, that, those already were released. Okay, we got to wait for our brake pressure to build up. No problem, and then we'll get going. Uh, where the heck are we? Let's get out of here. All right, so we gotta get out of the main line. Yeah, our brakes are a little bit, hold on, let's turn on the cab lights. It's a little easier to see. Oh, the brakes have pressure, we're good. All right, so we just gotta get past this switch, and then we'll go backwards that way and get onto that line there, which is the main line. Um, I have no idea where D is. We should probably check that first. Where's our station map? Station map, station map, number two. Uh, Harbor A, D. Okay, I think we're at 1P right now. So actually, we can keep going. Are we Are we at 1P? I think we're at 1P. I think that's going to be D down there. So if we just grab this. Is that right? I don't know. I probably should have hooked up before we started. This is going to be like what holds me back. We're also completely backwards. So we're going to drive this line in reverse. People are saying that only matters with the cooling. If you're going in reverse, your engine temp will overheat. So that might be a problem, but I don't really know how to flip this thing around. There's no turntable here. That's got to be my load, right? Like, that's got to be it right there. Yeah, screw it. We'll just do this whole thing in reverse. I don't even care. All right, can I... Let's go take a look here real quick. What is this? D60. That's where we're going, right? Perfect. This is perfect. All right, D... Wait, no, D30. Uh-oh. Uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Which one of these is D30? Oh, boy. Oh, I don't want to be on the roof. I want to get... No, I want to get in the cab. Excuse me, sir. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're potentially on the wrong track here. D30. Which one of you is D30? D30. Oh, it's those ones. Ah, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. This isn't a big deal. We just got to back up a little bit. They should probably label the tracks out by the switches, you know? All right, so we got to back out all the way. Oh, we got to go. We literally have to go left on this switch. Whoops. Okay, my bad. All right, perfect. Here comes our train at holy cow, a million miles an hour. Sick. Get past this switch. Is there a way for me to turn this train around? 
you know what? I don't think so. We're just gonna try it in reverse. I don't think we have much of a choice. Uh, here we go. And other people are saying two scroll wheel. That makes a lot more sense. It's a lot easier. Click you. Thank you. That actually, that actually is a lot easier. Oh, hold on. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, uh, that first. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wasting a lot of time hooking up. I can see why people would say you should hook up first. Especially if you don't know the location. You should at least spot where the load is. So you know what switches you have to do. Um, because we're, we're clearly wasting a lot of time here. So it was... Oh, shoot. Do I have binoculars? I really don't have binoculars. That would be very convenient. Which one was it? Is it... It's this... That track there. Okay, so this first switch needs to go left. And then this next switch needs to go right. And we're on this track. Okay, perfect. Thank God we have this teleport. That makes things so much easier. I don't think, honestly, we're going to overheat the engine. I mean, I feel like we're not even going to be running the throttle hard enough. It's three empty cars that we're delivering, so... You know, the throttle's not going to be, like, full out the whole time. And yeah, we're going in reverse the whole way. But I think it'll be fine. And if we overheat the engine, we just run it a little slower. I think it'll be a perfect mission. Shouldn't be any issue. How many cars are we trying to get here? No, that's my wallet. No, that's the thingy. Okay, step one. Uh, oh, it's just literally these three. It's gotta be these three. 641, 974. Yeah, and... 181. Perfect. Train is up. It looks like it didn't smash the windows this time. That's fantastic. That's great. Let's hook this thing up. Train over to that. Clank that up. Perfect. Hook the brake lines. Excellent. Open the brake line up. And the other one. Perfect. That should release the brakes on the car once we have brake pressure. Yeah, the pipe pressure is pretty low. That's fine. We're going to get going anyway. Reverse the whole way. Uh, hold on. We need to get to uh, the goods factory in town. So if we look at the goods factory in town... That is basically back the way we came. So we got to go out the harbor. And then once we get onto that main line, go back past the steel mill. I don't think we can go north. I think we have to go through the steel mill line because the goods factory line, it looks like there's a tunnel there. So I don't want to risk going north and then realizing we can't actually get into that. So we're going to go back the steel mill way and hopefully that'll be fine. Uh, let's just get going. Full speed. Well, not full speed. Got to make sure we can hit these switches. So we're coming out of D, so it should just be a matter of sticking to the right switches, and that'll get us back out on the main line. And then we need to go west out of here, is what we need to do. Um, and then goods, well I guess I'll leave it on this page for now, just until we get out. And then the goods factory in town, I am very curious about how that bridge is. All three cars are hooked up, excellent. This is sick, I love this game, it's so cool. I definitely want to get into some bigger trades. I need to buy some licenses. I think the Shunter license was the cheapest one. It was like a thousand bucks. And then the rest were like 20,000 plus. So it might be cool to get the Shunter license and do some shunting missions. Um, right. I just, I think we need to just flick right here. Okay, yeah. I think this one right here. That one's, we're coming in from behind. It's this one right here. We need to go right. Left is into the two shunting lazy wear. I honestly don't think this is going to be a problem. Driving in reverse the whole time? I think it'll be perfect. So this should be the main line. Right? And if we just stick to all the right switches, we should be good to go. Alright, let's go a little bit faster here. We want to actually make this trip. How's my engine temp? Looks fine. We're not even like halfway yet. We'll be good. How fast are we going anyway? Just under 40 kilometers an hour? Perfect. I think the speed limit's probably like 50 or something in here. It's a better view out the back, I'll say that. At the front you got all the smokestacks and stuff. Engine temp's still good, it's climbing. Oh boy, <laughs> we might actually run into some engine problems here. Um, Alright, we need to go right. Just right on that one. Feels like we've got a little bit of the wobbles going on. Might be a little too fast. Tone it down just a bit. Ooh, our engine is... Oh, that is... It is really heating up. And that grinding noise means we're about to fall off the rails. But, you know, other than that, we're fine. Oh, there's a fan? Perfect. Is that... I'm assuming that's an engine fan, right? There's no fan in here. I'm gonna turn that on. I feel like that's definitely the engine fan. 
Oh man, our engine is actually getting warm. It's kind of a problem. I literally asked this question in the last episode. I was like, what's the big deal if you drive in reverse? It seems it would be fine. And everyone's like, your engine's gonna overheat. Um, oh no, it's holding. I feel like this is like every person watching their graphics card temperature when they're playing a game their computer just can't quite handle. And they're just like, all right, just stay below 90 and you'll be fine. Just don't, don't get above 90. And then it hits 90 and you know, the world starts ending. But um, we might have to tone this back a bit. We're not anywhere close to the speed limit. I can tell you that much. This fan doesn't seem to help. I Is there a turnaround? So, but there's one at the steel mill. I don't know if there's one. There wasn't one at the harbor. Like our train was literally parked the wrong direction. Oh, that's a warning, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, oh boy. Once we get off this hill, we can coast, and then that'll that'll bring it down a bit. Just maybe I'll just knock the throttle. Oh no, we're not gonna make the bonus because the stupid engine's gonna overheat. Oh wait, hold on. Where are we here? Uh, no, don't need that. We need to go right. Okay, we're good. We're good. Perfect. People were saying too, you can do this. Uh, hold on. Nope, that's not the button. There we go. If I press R. The map will stay and you can put it down somewhere so now you can see we can still see our logo and we don't actually have to keep the map in inventory which i think is kind of cool kind of a neat little thing you could actually just completely decorate your train however you want except we seem to just be using loaner trains and not you know our own so it doesn't really matter i like having the map in the inventory and then of course the station overview and our switch majumner how are we doing we are still dangerously hot on the engine sick sick that's that's great that's great. Are we coasting yet? No, we're still climbing 70. There's no way we can do 70 without burning the engine out. Screw it. Let's just see what happens. A little bit of wheel slip. There we go. Yeah, the engine's gonna go to the red zone here for a sec. Alright, this train's literally gonna explode. Like, it's actually... it. The engine temp's just going up constantly. Uh, the fan's not helping. But we're constantly cl... Uh-oh. Well, that's the train exploding, I think. Uh, yep. Okay, hold on. Can I... Okay, I can turn it back on. We're gonna let it idle. It is cooling down. I was really hoping this episode to get the bonus just by driving the speed limit to prove it's possible. Um, obviously, you probably need your engine forward. I think, I think next time I'll definitely have to at least scope where the load is. And make sure I know how to get there. But I, that wasn't too bad, to be honest. Maybe five minutes to load the whole thing up, find it, and get there. Although this engine overheating, like, we can't go... The speed, the speed limit here is 40. We're only able to do 30, and the engine's still gonna explode. Is there... There's, there's gotta be something I can do to... No, there's nothing. This fan doesn't seem to help much, either. Yeah, I know the engine's gonna explode. Chill, man. Let's drop it back to idle. Oh god, and then we're losing. Oh no, we're not. Are we coasting? 30? Okay, we actually, we might be coasting. We might be good here. Alright, well, uh, we're definitely slowing here. We're gonna, we got engine temp though. We're good. Bring her back up to speed. Yeah, we got a little bit of wheel slip. That's fine. Hit the sand. We just need to get as much speed as possible here. Perfect. Yeah, I think we're gonna start going downhill. While we're doing that, uh, let's read up on some train stuff. Uncoupling, decoupling, fuel conservation. Throttle should only be applied when accelerating or maintaining speed on an uphill grade. Yeah, that makes sense. Brake basics, using air pressure. Yeah, this was actually explained to me in the comments. So the brakes, the interesting thing with the brakes is the pipe pressure releases the brakes. So when there's no pressure in the pipe, the brakes clamp which is what causes it to take a while for you to release the brakes. But your brakes will happen really fast as soon as you close the valve. They'll just instantly apply. Um, but then, you know, you have to... They take a bit to actually... Is our engine overheat again? It is. That's great. But yeah, they'll take a bit to actually repressurize to release. So that's why it takes you a bit to get going, which kind of makes sense. Uh, derailing. Yeah, that's whatever. I can derail. Comms radio. I know what that does. Diesel edges can overheat if they reduce... Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Oh. Maintain it literally says maintain frontal orientation right here. Okay, well that's that's nice. Wheel slip, yeah. Damage tips. Wheels receive damage. Collision damage is expensive. Shunt gently. Yeah, no, we got windows this time. We're doing good. 
we're doing great. Signage, oh, here we go. So speed is divided by 10. So for example, five is 50 kilometers an hour, which makes sense. Um, if the next limit has a 20 kilometer an hour difference, the sign will contain an appendix. Higher limit ahead, lower limit ahead. Oh, so it's like acceleration, deceleration. So if you've seen a green up arrow, you can accelerate. And if you see a red down arrow, you need to decelerate. Okay, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Are we going the right way here? Uh, we are going left. Perfect. Our engine, once again, overheated. This engine's gonna be so broken. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, so that makes sense. These signs are really, really cool. I thought those were, like, grade, like, up, down, whatever. Okay, great. Here we go. So, grade amount is represented by a percentage. That makes sense. Uh, oh, uphill is the yellow, blue, flat is blue or white, downhill is red. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Junction ahead, yeah, I know that. I know which switch junction, yeah, that makes sense. Input, output, storage, cargo transfer, passenger transfer, parking. Oh, wow. That would make, because it's not like 7i, it's, or 3i or whatever, it's 3 input. That makes total sense. All right, let's give him more throttle. Shut up, wheel slip. Thank you. Alright, perfect. This is a 70 kilometer an hour zone, so let's get some real speed here. Because then we're going to have to shut off the engine. Alright, what else we got? Input, output, yeah. So what are we going? We're going to goods, right? So let's check that real quick. Iron ore mine, forest central, sawmill, oil well, military base. Okay, it's not there. Oh my god. Goods factory, that's where we're going. Uh, I think this is where we're coming in, right? We're coming in on B. I think we need to, no, yeah, that's my wallet. Goods factory in town, we come in on track D5I. So it'd be the D5 input, which is where? D. Oh, okay, so that comes in from the southwest. We go all the way around through C, all the way around and then D, and then there's an end point there. Okay, that's simple enough. So we just basically got to drive all the way through the goods factory. Perfect. How are we doing? Engine overheating? About to. Sick. Drop that. We are cruising. We're not even doing the speed limit. The speed limit here is 70. And this is so fast. Man, you could easily get these missions in like the proper time if you actually had your engine forward and we're doing the speed limit the whole time. This is insane. We're doing 60 and it feels like I'm going to fly off the track. Yeah, cool down, man. Come on, cool. Cool engine, you're idling. Just cool, please. Luckily, we don't have the service light yet. Emergency engine off. Yeah, no, we don't need that. I love this game. There's so much to explore, and there's so many different missions, and the fact that it's, like, complete contract system is fantastic. And other people were telling me in the comments, too, you can accept multiple contracts at the same time, and if you have good orchestration, you can, like, do it all. Okay, so this is eight with an up arrow, which means it's 80 kilometers an hour and the speed limit increases in head. So we could hammer it, which is what we're gonna do. Our engine is actually just dead. I'm gonna hammer it though. And now it's 12, 120 kilometers an hour, but the speed limit drops up ahead. Doesn't matter, we're gonna, we don't even have 120 on this thing. We're gonna just literally hammer this for as much as we can until we see speed limit. Nine, we're still, like, we could literally max this thing out. Yeah, yeah, I know, my engine's about to explode. It's fine, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're just picking up speed, picking up speed, and then as soon as the engine's about to explode, yeah, let's cut it. This is so sick. 78 down a hill, perfect. We're cruising out. How can I check... I don't know if there's a way. It doesn't tell me when I started the job. So there's no way for me to really check the total time remaining. Is there? 38 minutes, yeah. Like, I'll get four grand, but it doesn't It doesn't tell me how much time's remaining on it. So I guess we just have to kind of guess. Um, luckily, I am recording, and there is a recording time, so into the recording we're totaled 25 minutes, but I don't think I accepted the job until 5 minutes in, so I think maybe 20 minutes is elapsed. We probably have 18 left. It's gonna be close if we make it. The last one we were only off by like 4 minutes though, and we were driving slow the whole way. 
So I feel like this one we're gonna make it no problem. Holy cow, that seems deadly. Yeah, we're like, we're almost at the steel mill too. And we're cruising. All right, what is it, 60? Yeah, we're, you know, we'll we'll hit it at 80. It'll be fine. I don't want to, I don't want to cut the throttle, man. Like, is it, is it really 60 or is it kind of like a recommended 60? No, see, now it goes up to 90. We're fine. We're good. I think this is all downhill too. This is perfect. Hitting a constant 80 without using the engine temp. Wonderful. Look, 80. Perfect. We're, <laughs> this is wicked. Oh, I can't believe how fast this is. This is insane. So one thing with Railroads Online, the steam engines are great and everything, but, you know, they weren't notoriously fast. I mean, I guess there were some old school steam engines that were pretty quick, but this diesel, man, this thing, uh, it flies. It flies. Oh, that's a 60. Yeah, we might want to put in a little bit of independent brake. We do have to go left here at some point. Or right, no, right first and then left. There's a Y coming up. Still 60. We're going 85. Sick. Don't even care. I, th I feel like this is 60. Yeah, see, it's an 80 now. I think it's 60 because we're coming up to the steel zone. Like, 50 because we're coming into the shut yard. But, like, who really cares, right? We just gotta make sure we hit our switches on time. Okay, so this first switch needs to go... That one's going right. This one needs to go left. There we go. Oh, my God. Perfect. Yeah, we're breaking the speed limit a little bit. <laughs> Whoops. Don't mind me. We're just uh, we're cruising on through. Have a good one. We'll see y'all later. I wonder if you get tickets in this game. Do you get tickets for violating the speed limit? I feel like you don't, right? It's a 60. All right, we just need to keep left of this little shunt yard. As soon as we see that switch. I love that you can change the switches from a million miles away. That's so convenient. All right, perfect. 70 to the left. We're still doing almost 90. Sounds like we're squealing a bit. Which apparently is like the sound of the wheels rubbing up on the inside of the track. Like when you're about to fly off. I think we're okay, though. This is, like, all empty. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh! Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Let's just... Yeah, let's let's just bring it back just a little bit. Alright. Alright, that'll be good. I feel like speed limits with trains is kind of like speed limits with a car, you know? You can kind of get away with a little bit above the speed limit. It's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Maybe. Oh, it's 10. What, what are we even doing? Look, our engine's, like completely cold. Let's crank... Oh, our engine's completely off. That would be why. I didn't see any signs that said we were climbing, but it feels like we are no longer on that sort of downhill. Like, this thing can only do, like, 75 on our full engine power, but I know the run from the steel mill is downhill. I didn't see a sign, though. Maybe it was relatively flat. I'm not sure. We are still just cruising, though. This is great. 70 coming up? Okay. Well, let's cut this off and just coast. I feel like if your wheels aren't squealing while you go around a corner, are you really taking the corner fast enough? Like, honestly. Like, you can't, you can't tell me that you're pushing the load to the limit if you don't hear at least a little bit of wheel squeal on every corner. Here, we got a Y coming up here. We definitely have to go right. Yeah. And it's a 60 Y. Ah, we'll hit it at 70. We'll be fine. We've been doing fine so far with a little bit above the speed limit. So, which way? That's going... I think we need to go to the click at once. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, right. You can right click to zoom in. Look at that. It's a 50. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Slam the brake a little bit. There we go. Still got all three cars. Perfect. That's right back up to a 70. Excellent. Crank the engine up, max speed. Got to get there as fast as possible. So we should be pretty much, yeah, this is the way to the goods now. So we'll be able to check too if that bridge is actually a bridge or an overpass or what the deal is there. I'm assuming it's an overpass. And then, uh, 
We gotta go all the way through the goods. Through B, through C, and then down all the way to D. All this, I guess we could go through B and then turn right after B, and then go forward and then go in reverse. That's probably the better way to do it, actually. Then we can get our engine out if we need to. Was this a 70? How fast are we going? 70? Sounds good. This is a beautiful, beautiful map, though. I really like all these lines. A little overgrown, I think. They should probably cut some of the trees back, but it is a wonderful-looking track. What's What are you complaining about? Engine again? Just chill, man. We're good. You've been doing great so far. It's a good thing we went this way. If we were going the other way, oh my goodness. Going, uh, oh yeah, that's definitely a, a bridge way up there. That's so cool. But yeah, if we were going the other way, it's basically downhill most of the way this way. If we were going the other way, I think we would have overheated a lot. All right, here we go. Uh, we're coming in. We go straight to the right. Right again. This is the B shunt yard. Right, and then right after the B shunt yard, we can turn right. Like that. Yeah, go past the service. Perfect. Excellent. And then we just keep following this. Yeah, I know. You're screaming a bit. We're probably coming in a little hot anyway. I feel like only using the independent brake is, is a bad idea, but it's fine. I don't want to use this brake because I don't want to lose brake pressure in the cars. I want the cars to release real quick. All right, excellent. We need to clear this switch and then go backwards. Click this switch. I think this is right. Where are we going? We're going to, uh, let's see. What line are we going to? D5I. D5I, right here. This line here, okay. So we need this switch to be that way. Uh, we need this switch to be that way. And we need this switch to be... That way. Okay, perfect. Let's get this thing going in reverse. Forward, I mean. There we go. Perfect. Flick that. Turn that brake off. Okay. I think we got this right. It's left. Oh, God. This is so hard to tell. Left and then left. Excellent. And then right at this switch. Excellent. And then right at this switch. And then left on... No, left on that switch. Right on this switch. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Five eyes there. No, five eyes there. Five eyes there. Yeah. It's always the sign on the right side of the track. Okay, we're good. Oh, we got two more engines here. That's sick. That's sick. We actually have two more engines. Perfectly lined up. I like the fact, too, that every time you do a contract in this game, you just pick a new contract from the same location and just leave and do it. I think next episode we'll take both of those, because why not? People are saying you don't even need the dual license. You can just man both of them by teleporting back and forth, which is kind of awesome. But here we go. This is where we need to be. Slam the brakes on that. Slam the brakes on this. Perfect. Where the heck is the station office? Uh, we need to find that real quick. I think it's probably over here. What is this? Is that it? No. Where's the station office building? That is not it either. Oh no. Need to need to find it. Is this it? No. Oh goodness. It's got to be around here somewhere. They all look the same. Every station office I'm pretty sure is the same looking building. There's a repair station. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Station office. Oh god, we're inside. Perfect. All right, job validator. Yes! 34 minutes. Let's go. Perfect. Don't even need to hook it up beforehand. $4,000 base payment. Fantastic. Oh, you gotta give me give me my money, please. Well, I can... It's gonna keep beeping. Whatever. Time bonus. 2,000 bucks. Holy cow. The bonus is totally worth it. Holy... That's amazing. Fantastic. No damage. No environment damage. Awesome. Yeah. No, thank you. No. God. God. I just want to drop this. I need that. Thank you. Give me my money. What can we get? Uh, hold on. We gotta pay our fees. Um, yeah. $6,000. Insurance to clear all fees. I guess that was just dollars? Like a hundred bucks? Alright. Confirm. Thank you. No problem. And licenses. So we could buy a shunting license. That's pretty much it. And uh, we have a DE2 license. Holy, $200,000 for a DE6? And then $20,000, $50,000? Oh my god. 
concurrent jobs one. I guess that's for doing multiple jobs at the same time. Train length one. Oh, you know what? Let's buy that. Let's buy train length one right away. Insert wallet to pay. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. We got enough money for that. Confirm. Sick. I can do long one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, definitely gonna have to do a long train in the next episode. I don't even know if we have one here. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I really like this game. I like the fact that your engine overheats. And uh, don't worry, guys. I've read the entire manual now. I understand all the signs. It's perfect. You know, so perfect we don't even need this manual anymore, but I'm gonna keep it anyway just in case. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know if there's anything else you want to see in Derail Valley. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.